What type of insect did I find in this pancake mix? And how can you keep this from happening to you? Let's find out. So the reason I ended up getting this pancake box is because um, a relative of mine uh, thought that something was weird and strange in their pancake mix and they ate some pancakes and it had a little extra crunch in it. So she was wondering what it could be if it was insects or something. So the more you guys learn about insects, I'm warning you, uh, the more people are going to come to you with insect type questions even if you don't really know that much about the particular type of insects that they're dealing with. But um, I have seen um, some insects before in uh, stored grains such as flour, rice, and other types of grains. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and investigate this and see if we can figure out what's in there. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start doing that. So you could do something like this at your house. Um, this is just a way that you could inspect it. Alright, so um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the box. I'm going to dump it out into this glass pan. Um, just to look around in there for different signs of insects. So we'll go ahead and we'll open this up and I'm just going to dump this out. Alright, I can already see just looking in the bot, looking in the bag, look in the bag. Do you see there's some, uh, there's some little bumps in there. There's like little brown spots. Oh look, they're moving around. Here we go. Definitely have got some insects in there. Do you see them moving? Either you've got magic uh, mini chocolate chips or you've got some insects in there. And these look like they're some sort of beetles. So, I mean, this is a this is an awesome jackpot for us. Um, even in the bottom of the box, like, this is not a good sign of the way that the box was getting taken care of. Um, there's like uh, flour and other things on the bottom of the box. So that's like perfect food for them to come in initially and then want to get into the package. Okay, take a look in here. I haven't even dumped this thing out. Like, clearly, there's an issue. Okay, so I'm gonna start dumping this out on this area here. We'll see if we uh, find some uh, larvae. So far I've found two adult. Um, looks like they're dead, but I've found two adults so far. Does this thing have a hole in the bottom? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that could be a big problem with it. It probably, it has a hole in the bottom. And that might've been where they came in. You can see it's kind of coming out there a little bit when I move it. But I'm gonna try and dump it out the top. We'll do a little better. All right, let's go ahead and start dumping out here. Oh look, there's one that's alive. That looks like it's a larva. Uh, that's an adult right there. We'll get some really good zoomed in shots here in a minute. But that thing is clearly moving. You can see it's antennae. Oh look, here is a larvae over here. Do you see that? It's really small and hard to tell. Most people would probably not be reacting the way that I am right now, being excited to see insects in their food, but hey, Take what you can get when it's cold and there's not a lot of insects out. You get excited when you see any insect. Here's another larvae here. It's awesome. One of the nice things about spreading it out like this is the adults and those that are alive are going to start moving around and they'll try to come up to the surface and figure out what the heck's going on because we're basically putting them through an earthquake. So, cast skin right there. Some sort. So an interesting story about insects getting into containers and getting into our food. While I was working at Purdue, um, I had the opportunity to do tests for some big candy companies. They would have their engineers design new candy type packages that would try to keep insects out. And what we would do, it was super awesome, we would put hundreds of beetles similar to these that I've got here. <clears throat> Probably a different species, I'm not sure about the species yet. but. What we would do is put hundreds of these beetles into like a Ziploc container and we'd put them in there with that candy um, container that was wrapped in plastic and stuff. So we would like put them to the test to see if the engineers and the work that they designed was strong enough to withstand these insects. And even like a tiny little pin sized hole, these insects just about every time were able to get their eggs into these different containers. So. So insects are very good at getting into small spaces and they can even chew through plastic um, if they need to, to get to food. So I really enjoyed doing that job because it was fun to pit 
mother nature versus the engineers so you know that I'm always rooting for the insects most of the time unless it's something really big um, but that was a lot of fun to be able to do that testing so yeah these could definitely spread from from this package to another I don't know how much they were spreading when I originally got to my relatives house the package um, I opened up the package and uh, just even on the edges of the package there were things crawling around outside of this plastic so they definitely could be spreading so I'm definitely gonna have to do some investigating and see if we can find any more and other stuff and maybe they even came from something else before they came to this okay let's dump this out the deeper I go into this stuff the more of them I'm finding I don't know that this particular species can fly, but a lot of these pests could fly to travel, you know, in between food sources. So it is possible that they could fly or get away, but I'm just going to dump the whole thing now. So we'll see uh, what that looks like, just dumping the whole thing. Oh, look at this. This is a cool shot. Out of the top of the mountain, the king of the hill. There he is, the larvae. Do you see him? My uh, relative told me that the pancakes tasted weird and that could have been from fecal material and other things. Look, here's another one coming out of the mountain. Yeah. Digging for insect gold. This isn't really gold though, this is like insect invaders. Go. A lot of these are dead. I bet about half of what I've been finding are dead. Just died of old age, poor things. No oh, man. How many of you guys are there? Some people actually try to raise these to feed to like their little lizards and stuff. They're pretty easy to raise because you just give them whatever food you got. When you're looking through you want to look for cast skins which is the exoskeletons that they shed while they're in there. That's probably the first thing you'll ever see. And then you'll also look for the adults and the larvae which the larvae usually of stored grain pests will look like worms um, or grubs. What I'm going to do to identify these things now is I'm going to get some really close up pictures and send those to an extension agent since I'm in the United States. You could also send it to a pest control company or someone else and they can possibly help you identify the pest. So after sending an email to a friend of mine, I was able to hear back that he believes that these are either a red flower beetle or a confused flower beetle, which are common stored product pests. Look at how many adults we've found. This is awesome how many we've found. I mean, I think we're lucky to find this many, but other people might say we're unlucky, but I think it was awesome to be able to find these. Just look at all of them. I mean, how can you not know that there are insects in there? All right, now that we got to have that fun and find those uh, awesome beetles, let me share some tips with you guys so you can prevent this from happening to you so you guys don't have to deal with this type of frustration unless you actually want to find some like me. So. Um, probably not going to be the case. So the first tip I want to share with you is to store your foods in an airtight container and that could be plastic, metal, or glass. But the key thing is airtight because you don't want them to be able to get in. They can chew through stuff but if there's a hole in it they're probably going to either be able to lay eggs in it or get in it themselves. Another key thing to do is to use food as soon as possible. As you saw with that pancake mix that um, we were looking through, it had already expired and I think what had happened most likely is that it was opened a number of months ago and since it was opened, or we also saw that hole in the bottom of it so insects could get in. So once they were able to get access to that, it was just gonna go downhill from there. So make sure and use up your food as soon as possible so that insects don't get into it. Another important tip is to keep your pantry clean. You want to wipe up all crumbs and any food residue because that's going to be food for those insects to find before they actually get into um, your stored grains and other products. So don't leave crumbs. Make sure it's very clean so the insects aren't living in your cupboards and then finding other food sources in there. And another important tip is to discard heavily infested food products. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw this stuff away. I'm going to throw away these beetles and 
everything's gonna be great. So make sure and follow these tips if you want to prevent insects from getting into your food. I'll leave a link in the description with an article that describes a little bit more about what I talked about. Let me know in the comments what types of food you've found insects in before. Um, maybe you've had uh, the same experience with me with flowers and rice and things like that. Or maybe you've even found it in other things. So let me know in the description where you've seen insects and like and subscribe to stay tuned next time where big adventures start small.